So everything's fine in Europe. We have nothing else to worry about. They came up with this deal a couple of days ago. And I'm going to go straight to the Thorold fearometer. The fearometer. The yep. fearometer, which mm -hmm. we finally put up in graphic form. Jared, do we have the fearometer today? Okay, now, the fearometer right there, we have uh, there you, Thorold, right at the top. And we have the spectrum the is between happy yeah. and crikey. Crikey, is that a British thing? It's Australian, I think, really. I would not use the word crikey. You would never use the term crikey? It's nice. And right now, we got on the fearometer, we're somewhere in the middle. Uh -huh. kind of yellow. Do you think that's a fair statement for Thorold Barker? Or are you kind of leaning towards the happy side? Um, I'm, I'm actually, uh, my, my current view is that the, um, the Greek deal is, I think people are increasingly realizing it's not really a solution to this it's at all. It's a fudge. It's, it's one of the classic Euro fudges. Everyone talks about it for months on end, has a late night meeting, goes through the night, comes up with this great plan, and then immediately everyone picks holes in it and goes, well, actually, this is all very well, but the country's still probably insolvent, so what have you actually solved it? So I think... Um, the reason the markets are doing what they're doing is because we've kind of taken it off the table as an immediate problem, but you know, you've still got to get agreement from everybody that this is actually going to happen. You could get people holding out. You could yet trigger CDS. There's all sorts of stuff that's but, still but, out there. But, but, but that's in the scheme of things, no, you're, you're yeah, a big, no, you're, no, throw, you are a big picture guy. They are not guy. leaving you're the euro a, you're tomorrow. A big picture so guy. on that level, for sure. Right, no, right. no, this is not... A critical moment. And all the bond auctions definition. lately yeah, yeah. out of Spain, France, and sure. Italy, they've all been going yeah. up. Everything is looking up for your home continent, isn't it? No, it definitely looks better, for sure. Right. And I think the, the thing we all have to watch is what do the growth numbers look like right. for the next but you're six not, months? But the, is the market expecting very much? Out of Europe, the, no. everybody's kind of anticipating no. slow People growth to recession. Right, yeah, and right. Southern Europe recession probably. But um, the question how deep that is, because every percentage point change can make an enormous difference to the debt dynamics of these things. So look at Greece, I think it shrunk 7%. Now, I mean, that's, that's pretty huge. And if you carry on well, doing that for well, too Greece long. Greece shrunk 7 but, but Greece is a, you know, it's an iota. It's, it's of like course one it tenth is. the right, size right, right. Of, the, of the Californian but, economy. Of course. But the reality is they've done a deal which takes, you know, assuming this all goes smoothly from here, that takes refinancing off the table for a long time. But you can't take away the publication of economic statistics. And if, on a quarterly basis, GDP keeps plummeting, people are going to realize very quickly that actually this is no sustainable deal at all, and then you get back into an issue. So I think... As a market observer, as, yeah. a, as, as a herd on the street mm -hmm. bigwig, you get paid to worry about things. So if you were going to... Not excessively, well, but yes. Well, not excessively. You, you don't get paid enough to, <laughs> to, to worry excessively. But if you, if you looked at Europe right now and you said, you know what? I mean, not this, to worry excessively. Yeah, because. this is what's going to happen next. Or this is this is the thing I'll be looking for to see what happens. What are you looking at? Is it is it is it the French election? Is it Sarkozy's re-election? Are you worried about the UK? Or are you still worry, going to worry about Greece? No, Greece is, Greece is a symptom. It's not, as you say, it's 2% of the economy. It's not a big deal. But it, it shows what happens when debt dynamics get out of control. Um, uh, I think, yeah, elections are going to be key, both in Greece and in France, as to what happens. And then, you know, as I've said, the, Europe has been talking for decades about a pro-growth agenda, about deregulation, about freeing up labor markets and all of this good stuff. Never going to happen. But it's never happened, okay? <laughs> right. And the question is, will a massive crisis make it happen? The answer is, the more weeks we have like this, where things look better, the more the urgency disappears right. and, and you won't get you it. You think so to get big, big substantive change, the dismantling or let's call it the, the, the sure. reform of the, of the welfare state in Europe requires emergencies all the time. Well, of course. And look at Greece. I mean, you know, Greece has been in a state of extreme crisis and still pushing through what they've promised. Right. It's politically incredibly difficult and it's not even clear they can get through what they've okay. promised. So let's go back to the fearometer. JR, put up the fearometer one more time. I want to get th Thorold. Where are you right now on it? Are you in the green zone yet? Look at look at the. I know where he's in the. You put him in the yellow, but I want to know where he is. No, I'm low yellow. I'm I'm not green at this point. You're Absolutely still in not. yellow. Yeah, yeah. You're still you're happy with that where you are right there. I'd go a little bit. I'd like go a little bit towards the bottom of the yellow. A perfect straddle. Col no, no, a no. A perfect straddle. No, no. I'm, I'm you're left. You're towards the I'm green. I'm left of center yellow, but the um, the, we're we're no no means are we green at the, we're at the nowhere moment near, because no means green. we are still very European central bank dependent, and so until that changes, I'm not going green.